right, hey, welcome everybody. And uh, we're gonna be painting some stuff. A Song of Ice and Fire, I'm Sam. I'm Vernon. And uh, we're just chilling. And we're going to be uh, also answering questions and all that kind of stuff as well. So uh, we've got uh, Kenny and Derek currently in the room, but uh, I think Kenny's gonna stick around for the duration. And uh, he'll be uh, goofing around with the cameras a little bit here and there. But for the most part, we're just gonna be um, painting a couple of things here so what have you got what are you going to be painting today i am going to be painting of course it didn't print out their name these uh lannister soldiers um i've actually printed out some of the artwork from the game itself uh so this way i could follow along and that's what i have i have the entire army in front of me today well this army i'm going to be painting uh, great john umber and uh, one of the Umber Berserkers, uh, which actually they have a very similar uh, color scheme to your Lannisters. So they I'm going to try to make sure that they don't look like Lannisters because they are not. Oh, we could always use the the help. Actually, conscripted soldiers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they are not that uh, not that uh, power. Well, actually, the Berserkers are actually really powerful but they die easy too but um it's fun it's fun all right so uh we're just going to go ahead and get started uh kabuki is online hello and audio video seems fine this is that would be a change from normal you mean i am not a robot this <laughs> yeah, time <right? laughs> are there painting starting sets from any particular vendor that you like uh definitely pick up the army painter starter set yeah. Um, that these, to these me is one of the most basic starter sets that you can buy. Mm -hmm. um, they have the eight paint one, I think it is, for under thirty dollars. Comes with a brush, which is okay, but you can always buy extra brushes at Michaels, and that's actually where I buy most of my brushes. Mm -hmm. I buy the uh, Windsor and Newton, um, Cotman. Windsor and Newton. And then I also pick up the Artist Loft Vienna brushes, um, and those are the ones that I like to use to paint. Um, when I started out a lot of things hmm. um, but I mean it comes with pretty much every color that you could need in that starter set and if you don't need it you could always mix it um, then they have the mega uh, starter set which is 70 something paints so you don't really need to do a lot of mixing there but it's a lot of different shades so you'll have like a, a very light blue yeah. and a dark blue you I can tell. I, I don't know if I would recommend mixing paints right off the bat for well, people I with mean, starter sets. You could Google a color wheel and actually use the color wheel to help you um, mix paints. Uh, yeah, I will sit here and talk about paints for a long time. Yes, you will. <laughs> you will. But uh, yeah, there's each. I think each of the different companies has their own. Yeah, Games uh, Workshop. I actually, I don't think Simon does yet. No, no. Simon is actually in partnership it, with. Army Painter, so yeah. when like different sets come out, they have different starter right. sets for those. Yes. Um, Games Workshop is one of the ones that actually is kind of nice. So they give you uh, four or five paint pots mm -hmm. and a mini to put together and paint. So that's right. kind of nice. Um, whereas Army Painter, obviously, you're going to have to have your own minis. Yeah. Um, but so, yeah, yeah each, you just have to get out there. There's Army Painter, there's Vallejo, there is uh, Citadel, there is, those scale are the... Scale 75, P3. Scale 75, those, the, those first three are the big ones, I guess you could say. Yes. The scale 75 is a little bit more niche, I guess. Yeah, they're up and coming, but they're a little on the pricey side, but they are very good paints um, in terms of quality. Cool. So. Cool. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Um, yep. uh, we can, um, you know, we've got both of those uh, uh, close-ups there, so you can ask questions. I'll, I'll try to check every once in a while to see where we are. Uh, Kabuki says, I miss Robot Vernon. <laughs> so uh, that's pretty bad um, that they thought that sounded better than your normal voice. Yes, um, I have a face for radio. That's unfortunate. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna pop out chat here so I can have a little bit of a bigger window to work with. Am I in camera? And at least so people can uh, see. Let's see here. There you go. All right. Well, that's a little bit too big, isn't it? Uh, well, we're still working with it. We're still seeing how things can work. All right. That'll work. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. 
All right, so when should you prime your miniatures in white versus gray or black? Does the primer color matter? Yes, the primer color matters. A darker primer is gonna make the, dark, the colors that you put on top of it uh, look darker, whereas a lighter um, uh, primer coat is going to make them look a little bit brighter. Uh, so you kind of can can play with what you have. I just early on I got I got into a rut of of uh, pr priming all of my miniatures black because I like how it helps with the shadows and it makes things look darker. And then if I want a color that I'm putting on top of it to be brighter, then I can highlight it with brighter colors. Um, so I just think it gives me a little bit more control, I guess you could say, over the the deeper recesses of the model and, and making sure that they stay deeper recesses, you know? So that's that. I paint the, the I prime in the biggest color of the, the model. The base color, yeah. Uh, well, the, no, the, not the base color, the biggest color of no, the no, model. No, no, the base color of the model. I didn't say base yes. color. Yeah. Because um, I, I don't like to paint a lot. <laughs> so I take a shortcut. So like all the Lannister army is really dark, uh, deep red. So I painted, um, I primed all of these, uh, basically with a base coat, honestly, um, their deep red color. Mm -hmm. And I cut out a big step. But it was also pretty easy because, like I said, they're all red. I got a hat. All right. I'm going to try to do the... Uh, the good old conveyor belt model here and see oh. how many I can get through today and well how far I can get through different pieces okay that's a good idea yeah conveyor belt is is cool for um, painting large armies which is what we have here so yep it's a good so basically what you do is you find one spot on the model that you want to paint um, if you have all of the same models, so if you can tell, I'm painting their helmets, all the silver color, um, and I'm going to paint every single one of these guys' helmets silver. Hopefully by the time the stream ends. Ooh. Hopefully. Yeah, it's not going to happen. I don't know, it might. Yeah. And then I'm going to go home and play Overwatch. <laughs> I Overwatch, man. You're not playing Fortnite like everybody else in the world? No. I have played Fortnite. Um, I'm not really a huge fan. Uh, I do like it, but I don't like the multiplayer part of it. I like the um, save the world where you're teaming okay. up against the hordes of... Yeah. Uh, I don't even... Zombies. Yay, the zombie-ish characters. They don't quite call them zombies. It's because they don't want it to... They don't want everybody to think it's just another zombie game. It is not. Um, but yet, yeah, so Overwatch just went on sale um, for 50% off. So I was like, hey, it's perfect time a year later to pick it up. Yeah. I just don't play that bit of many video games anymore. I don't either. What, what happens is I'll get on a kick. Mm -hmm. And I'll be like, oh, yeah, this game is great. And then I'll be playing it and playing it and playing it and be like, all right, I'm, I'm bored now. Yeah. <laughs> like, I haven't beat Fallout 4 because I got bored doing side quests. Jeez. And so I need to finish up that game. still have that game. I'm going to probably finish that game before Fallout 76 comes out because I'll pick that one up as well. <laughs> I just gotta give me something else to do other than sitting and painting sometimes. Yeah. There because is that. I, because otherwise I just well you know what it's it's honestly um, the reason why I've been getting a lot of games lately and playing them. So during the summer months, there's not a lot of television. Uh, TV shows are ended. Yeah, yeah. So I don't have anything to watch while painting. So I get bored really easily. <laughs> um, so I will paint something for a little while while we'll listen to some smooth jazz and uh, be bored after painting a bunch of stuff and then I'll be like, okay, I'm going to go play some video games now. I'm going to play Hearthstone. Or mm -hmm. and actually, what's funny is I will sit there and I have my computer next to my painting table, I'm just yeah. kind of like you do right now, and um, I fire up Hearthstone and play Hearthstone while I'm painting. <laughs> wow. That's multitasking. 
Well, I'm sitting there, I'm waiting for something to dry, so I'm like, all right, well, I can take it, you know, my turns in between then. Right. Yeah, I understand. I get it. Yeah. That's my ADD kicking in is what it is. <laughs> all right. Well, that's a start. Is that the good color? Is that chaotic red? Um, that won't work it for is, you. Uh, yeah, chaotic red. That's what I'm doing. So we're. I'm using some cold I steel. I think I'm going to have to brighten it up a little bit because it's a little bit darker than I wanted it to be. I don't want him to look like a, one of the corn berserkers from Warhammer. Why not? Because they're evil. That's nothing wrong with. Um, what were you about to say? There's nothing wrong with what? Huh? Blood for the blood god. <laughs> <laughs> about that. Now his his uh, cloak looks like it's going to be I'm going to go ahead and make his covered cloak. in blood no, I'm from the Lannisters. I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to go ahead and make his cloak this uh, chaotic red too just because I want to. I can't really tell from the uh, depiction in the uh, Yeah I wish there was like a 3D um, art somewhere where right, I could look yeah. behind models and things like that. Because right now I'm like, well, these guys, uh, they have an entire back and I don't know what they look like. But he's got some, uh, uh, like a belt thing going on. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go with some brown for his belt, I guess. Because I imagine that's wow, the Wow, my hand's the blocking the, my hand is blocking the thing a lot. I apologize. I'm trying to get it. Trying to be a little bit more. Uh, You're painting John Cena over there. <laughs> Can't see me. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Just show it really quick and be like, Bernard, uh, his name is John Cena. <laughs> Have you played Fortnite yet? Yeah, I played a little bit. I'm really bad at it, which anybody my age probably is, but. But um, my, my son plays it. I'm bad at the multiplayer. Like, that's why I don't play the multiplayer. I'm bad at it. <laughs> um, I'm just not a fan mm -hmm. of trying to build while running and not getting shot. Oh, yeah, shot. I, I, I can't build. Uh, I, uh, that's, that's how I die most of the time. Somebody finds me and I just, you know, my give up. <laughs> Have my resources. Just start dropping everything yep. and trying to appease them. Please don't shoot me. Here's, here's a bunch of guns. I'm going to run away now. And then try to attack him with your pickaxe. Um, yeah, I, I am not a fan of that one, uh, multiplayer-wise, but I am a fan of PUBG, which is obviously their direct competitor right now. Mm -hmm. um, more f for the fact that I feel PUBG is in... The graphics, to me, are more realistic yeah. than, you know, say, the cartooniness of Fortnite. That's yeah. one of the things that I like about it. The cartooniness. Yeah, it's less realistic. Yeah. But that's what I think. That's the reason why I end up liking Overwatch. Actually, um, I like the obviously the the multiple different click characters that you can play. Mm -hmm. um, and then the like you, no one person has a one up on another oh, wow. person. A lot of questions. Chat has blown up. Yeah. So let me go ahead. You can, uh, you. can you prime black and then spray some white primer uh, from above in a lighter color to highlight? Yes. Somebody's talking about Zenithal highlighting. Yes, that is yeah, that is actually a thing. Uh, is it wrong that I want those miniatures to play Game of Thrones instead? <laughs> no, it isn't. Oh, the, uh, the board game version? <coughs> yeah. Actually, that's a uh, good point. Yeah. Let's Easy. see here. Did they make a a Targaryen one? I don't know. Defection? I have no idea. Yeah, I'm not this is quite relaxing. Add some ambiance cafe music. Yep, that's why I normally listen to smooth <laughs> jazz when I paint. Smooth jazz. Yeah. Not hard jazz. Will, you always, will we always display our finished product down the road? Yes. Yeah, we'll try to give a... Um, Oh, um, this is what it looks like. Yeah. After. Yeah. Um. 
Yeah, I should have these Let's finished see. up now. Um, when some miniatures are identical, do you guys prefer painting them all alike or slightly different? It. I, there's so many of them, I usually just paint them identical. Yeah, it helps with time, honestly. Yeah. Um, the <laughs> Should we talk about my Zombicide? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so my Zombicide Black Plague, uh, there's how many zombies in that game? A lot. Each one of my zombies is different. Craziness. And that took me for evs forever. Because <laughs> um, I mean, yeah. each one has different clothing. Each one has different. Uh, I mean, they all have the same color eyes, but all of their eyes are painted. So that was kind of difficult, obviously. Um, yeah. So after doing that, um, I think all my orcs for Green Horde are going to be the same. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not running into that one not again. Not doing that anymore. No. But, I mean, it, it looks cool on the map, obviously, because, I mean, you're sitting there, right. you're looking at it, and everyone is different. Um, mm -hmm. But I, then I also decided to paint cobblestone on their bases, and I will not be doing that, I don't think, with uh, <laughs> Green Horde either. Same thing moving your camera a little Yeah, bit. okay, go ahead. Seems Work with it. Is that all Work the with it. Sorry, guys. Work, 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 work. Are you going to put it over there? Hmm. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Why is it be able to zoom in? Right. So, Kenny is working with removing the placement of the camera because I was a bad boy and didn't actually uh, stay the way I we had rehearsed. Um... I thought I tried. I tried. I'm sorry. This is a board game reviewing studio, not a miniature painting studio. Yeah, that's true. So the cameras are not really... Okay. I think that's pretty good for his... Oh, got to get the inside over here. Okay. How many minutes did you paint today? Look at me. Yeah, you're doing the easy mode. <laughs> easy mode. I'm going to have to go back over some of these, though, so I can get full coverage. Just trying to, I mean, this red is really dark for this yeah. silver. The brighter, the brighter colors are really, um, sometimes the brighter colors, they don't cover as easy. Yeah. Even though I painted only red, it's still, like, spotty in some areas, and I'm just yeah. going to have to go back over some of them. But that will be <coughs> last, because I'll just move on to something else while all of the helmets dry. Mm -hmm. No, I got silver in your hair. Okay. Isn't that a song? I wouldn't know. It's a 70s song. You should know. Uh, I got silver. Why should I know? It's not s silver. It's um, flowers. It's from the Forrest Gump soundtrack. Um, when you go to San Francisco. Again. Be sure to wear flowers in your hair. Do you want me to shoot questions at you? Sure. Yeah, that's good. Yes, please. <coughs> All right. You guys normally batch paint or um, paint all the details on? at the same time, or fully finish one before moving on? Um, I batch paint a lot, uh, especially if I'm doing massive armies like this. Um, it would take me forever to do one model and then continue on to do a uh, more details. So I, I like, pref I prefer doing models that are all the same to be able to batch paint them, I should say. Yeah. Asking, did you ever paint? This is for Sam. Tom's copy of Blood Rage. No. Uh, I think Rob, uh, Oren, did that. Um, I did not. I didn't either. <laughs> uh, but I did paint his copy of Scythe. <laughs> yeah, where is that anyway? <laughs> well, actually. <laughs> Tactically, Scythe is here, just not the Rise of Fenrir. Not that there's any things in there to paint, if anybody's watching this, because 
Spoilers. <laughs> You're asking, uh, what is the smallest thing you guys have painted? Um, probably Arcadia Quest is the smallest ones that I've done. Because <laughs> I don't like painting small miniatures. I mean, really, even these are a little bit too small for my liking. I wish that, um, Say yeah, I don't like painting really small miniatures. I like having a little bit of a larger, I guess, canvas. Service area, yeah. yeah. Uh, smallest for me would be the baby raptors in Raptor. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty small. Yeah, and those look great. By the way, if you ever want to paint them, they look awesome painted. I have it out of my Instagram somewhere, or my Facebook page. I don't remember which one, but they are out there. They look amazing painted. Not just because I did it, just on the board. I feel like those minis should have come painted. But then again, I feel all well, minis should be painted. <laughs> <laughs> and some wooden maples as well. So. And penguins. Yes, and the penguins from Ice Cool. Those definitely need to be painted. Tom's copy's painted. Uh, I, know, I know. Somebody <laughs> did that for him, didn't they? <laughs> we know Tom didn't do it. <laughs> what is the first miniature that you, that you painted converting? Uh, first mini that I ever painted... Um, I don't know what they're called. It's the worm things from Mansions of Madness. Um, version one, not version one. What's the the first first, first edition? edition yeah. yeah. Um, and I painted it to look like a sandworm from Beetlejuice. Oh. Yeah, it looks awesome. Like it's got green tentacles. So you're and about it's to say black and white. sandworm from Dune. I was about to give you a high five, but no, no. Beetlejuice. No. Where we don't need to control any spice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw a uh, I saw a meme the other day that had to do with that had to do with that. Oh, it was a was it a pumpkin spice meme? Oh, okay. because everybody started uh, started yeah, that off. Started. Yeah, it was. It was um, it was uh, the main character from Dune, and he had a big bottle of Starbucks, <laughs> a big cup of Starbucks in front of his face, and it said, you know. Uh, he who controls the pumpkin spice controls the universe. All right, I'm moving all these over because they they go from unpainted spot to painted spot. That's kind of how I do my um, conveyor belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So now I'm going to move to the Lannister hair, which of course they're all, right, all blonde. Done. All right. Get that nasty. Chaotic red out of there. That's gross. Chaos. Bad guy red. Bad guy red. All right. Now I'm going to move on to some leather. Actually, we're going to do oak brown because it's going to be dark. And I'm going to get inside, you know, in between it. I don't even know. Should I do this? Because his. Um, Probably shouldn't ask me. Yeah, I know, right? See his his uh, armor has those metal plates on it. Ah, uh, and they're it's it's on a leather. Yeah, leather strap. Leather stuff. Well, actually, if you're using leather, yeah, I have my smoke here somewhere. If you do a lighter brown, you run that smoke over it, and it gives it the leather texture. Mm. If you want, no, I don't. A couple more questions for you. Go ahead. Do you ever paint minis that are not game related? No. I have some. They're not painted. <laughs> um, I have a few of the old. Uh, I saw something after Thailand. Marvel um, night models, um, but I have not really ventured into painting them just because I've been inundated with painting game models. Um, but I am looking forward to doing so. Uh, Verna, have you ever painted lead minis? I have not painted lead minis. Um, speaking of which, the metal models from Night Models are the Marvel ones, which is why I actually I bought them not knowing that they were metal and not knowing that I had to put them together. 
Ah, that's funny. I hate putting together metal, metal models. Metal. Yeah, and I was like metal models. And I was like, nope, I'm done. So they're still hate sitting in their it, packaging. Hate it, hate it. I would have preferred resin, obviously, but yeah, yeah. I'm I'm very glad metal models are are going the way of the dodo. Um, I never liked them. They they hardly ever. You almost had to pen them. Uh, whenever you were putting them together and they were going in, going together with other kinds of materials and all that kind of stuff, I hated, hated, hated. Mm. Ugh. What's the other one? Um, well, they're asking a question about the, the Cthulhu model. <laughs> if you guys were interested in painting that one. I would have loved the chance to paint that model. Um, from mm -hmm. Death May Die. Yeah. Um, I have painted uh, all of the factions from Cthulhu Wars, so I am well versed in painting disgusting models. Yeah, if you really want to know what it's like to play a game with Vernon, <laughs> play, play, play that game with him. The others or Cthulhu Wars? Both. <laughs> Actually, I if you're, if you're really If you really want to punish yourself, do both. <laughs> yeah. Or you could just watch the live play that we did. Yeah. Where, that might, um, no, that would be too easy for them. Yeah. They, they, they need to experience this for themselves. Actually, I have the Apocalypse Mansion in the car. I sold it. I need to ship it out. I could bring that in and show everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of my favorite models to paint because it's a larger model and it was a lot mm -hmm. easier to do details on right. it. He right. ain't got no hair. All right, he's done. I had to touch up some of that red. Before I moved on. What do you guys think about the Reaper paints? I've never used them, so I have used. I don't have an opinion. Them, um, however, it was at a convention, so I was not a huge fan, only because I felt like they were a little watery for my taste. Because I'm used to being able to dip some water and do this and so that was probably mostly my fault because you know I sat there and watered them down even more but in terms of paints they were really good just you don't really need to water them down it's already watery enough no it is not a d20 dice ring it is a um, a Norse runes, runes uh, ring that uh, I don't know if it's going to uh, ever be come in handy for anything, but uh, <laughs> it looks cool. In case Ragnarok happens, yes. spin ring twice, counterclockwise. Yes, that is correct. Have you ever stripped all the paint from a mini you didn't like how it finished? I'm very glad that they've I have clarified that. all of that. Work. I have not done that. How about you, Bernie? You ever paint something not like it and then strip it down to paint it again? Yes, I have actually. Uh, I haven't stripped it all the way down. Um, I washed it off as soon as I could, which got a lot of the paint off. I let it dry and then I repainted it. Um, I don't remember which one it was, but there was something that I, I messed up on. I just wasn't, I wasn't happy with it. So I washed it after paint, putting the paint on under warm water and got a lot of the paint off with a brush. Because um, I mean, these paints are water soluble, obviously. And I just went from there. Do, All right. Do, 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 do. I don't think I'm going to do that leather underneath that because I don't. I think I can just do the outside of it, and it'll have the same effect. Mm. See how there's a little. See how there's a little line around the bottom, and up the side here. Mm -hmm. I think if I just hit that edge with the brown. Mm -hmm. It'll pull the same effect, and then just hit these with. with well, where's uh, his color? Oh. Silver. His color for his pants. <coughs> oh yeah, I see what you're saying. Um, actually, you know what? I actually have a good color for that. Use this one. Class. Thornwood green. Thornwood green. It looks almost identical to that color. But that's uh, that's armor plated. I'm telling you, behind it, and then hit it all with. Uh, no, I'm not doing it behind. It. I just told you I'm not doing it behind it. You weirdo. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Hit it here first, folks. I'm hit it cheap, cheap. Hit it with some gunmetal gray. 
I mean, some gunmetal. I dropped one apparently. So. And we're gonna go from there. I should have done these guys here first. I got, I got, uh, Lannister hair on there. How long have you guys been painting? How long oh, have I been here? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I, I don't really know, honestly. Um, I guess I could, I've been painting ever since Warhammer 40k 4th edition, I want to say. So about 30 years for Sam. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, about four years for me. Because I started moving when I moved here. Yeah. Weasel my way in. <laughs> Unrelated to, to gaming, uh, what are your current favorite TV shows? Um... I love Supernatural. I'm a huge Supernatural fan. I don't care who knows it. <laughs> Dean over Sam any day. Um, what else? I'm a fan of The Expanse, Killjoys, Lucifer. Um, I've been watching Disenchantment on Netflix, uh, Ozark on Netflix, the Marvel TV shows. I mean, I could seriously go on and on about TV shows because it's what I do when I paint. <laughs> it gives me a lot of time. What to Marvel sit. TV shows? Um, in order, or in a rank, or just the ones that? Because I've seen them all. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm, I'm, which ones are you talking about? Daredevil, Punisher, okay. Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, The Defenders, gotcha. Iron Fist, Netflix stuff. Netflix stuff. Yes. Okay. Um, I haven't seen any of the. Cloak and Dagger series yet. Don't waste your time with Cloak and Dagger. No? Yeah. Black Lightning was... Re I saw only the first episode, and I really enjoyed it. I do watch Arrow, Flash, um, Legends of Tomorrow. Let's just keep going. About here. Gifted. Have you seen Gifted? I have not seen Gifted. I have watched Legion, though. I did like Legion. Hmm. Gifted any good? I like it. It's uh, It's got a cool family vibe to it mm -hmm. because you know, the main characters are all a family and uh, I like that about it. Do they go around singing We Are Family? No. Well, I'm not watching it then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I watch a lot of TV. I watch a lot of movies as well. I was expecting a cl uh, that, that question to be what class do you play in uh, Overwatch? <laughs> Or Hearthstone. <coughs> what is your favorite paint to prime with? Vallejo. Hands down. And then scale 75. Cryline from Walmart. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Why not, man? It gets the job done. It does, but I do know for a fact that you have an airbrush. I do. <laughs> And that paint... And I'm not very good at using it. So, and I won't ever get better without using it, I know. That paint um, washes a lot of details out if you get accidentally too close. Or if the humidity is incorrect, um, you can ruin the mini by priming and it. I've never had that problem because I take my time. la <laughs> dee you're asking, is that a D20 ring on your Yeah, that's a he had an answer. Yeah, I already one. answered that. No. It's a... Um, Nordic runes. Nordic runes, yep. And it'll ruin your day. All right. I'll also oh, use the gunmetal to do gun the armor that is bit on bit. his thingy as well. And then we're going to come back and hit that with plate armor metal. Plate, plate armor silver, too. But we're going to do it this way first, just so that... We have a darker undercoat there. You painting his undercarriage? Is that what you said? No. <laughs> no. You're asking if we're gonna see Tom paint again. I don't again? Know. Oh, because he did it at the convention. Um, eventually. I I, I I foresee that happening. He sort of ran out of the room when we. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he yeah, did he run out of the room. Yeah. Well, he said he wasn't gonna move, and then I said, "Oh, cool, you're gonna paint with us," and then he ran out of the room. Yeah. I think he ran to go get his paints, honestly. 
Yeah, but he just hasn't come back yet. Yeah, that's what. That's definitely what's going on. <laughs> You're asking in, in, in one year, how much money do you think you spend in painting supplies? I don't even want to think about that. <laughs> uh, if you didn't hear that, he says he doesn't want to think about that. <laughs> um. Let's see. In one year? Well, this is one month and multiply it by 12. Yeah, <laughs> right? That's pr probably. Because, I mean, I go through, I don't go through a lot of paints um, just because I can mix colors and things like that. Um, but I want to say in a year, with airbrush and stuff, five, six hundred dollars. <laughs> year <laughs> just because I mean so when I when we first started talking about Bet you that cry line paint sounding a little bit more inviting now ain't yeah. it? when we first started talking about the brushes and stuff um, I said you know I, I gave the Michaels spiel but I'm using a rosemary company Kalinsky sable brush right now which is like eight dollars or something by itself and I've got a few sitting over here because <laughs> they they keep their their point a lot, lo a lot longer than a lot of other brushes, so that's why I like to keep them around. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that. that that's going to take me forever. I'm going to do it like this. Okay. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it, the, it can get expensive, but it, it's also worth it because you don't have ugly, unpainted minis if you spend the money to paint it. And that's the other reason why people, I mean, pe okay. people think that, oh, hey, you got a painted so game, I'm going to buy it for $30 over the price of the normal game. Yeah. And then people don't realize how much time, money you spent putting into that painting. Kind of need an old oil. Here's a question about um, what's the average amount of paint coats you put in a mini by the time you're done? I mean, I know that differs really depends on how well the the um, the paint that you're using how well it's covering mm -hmm. if it doesn't cover well you have to do a second coat um, I don't think I've ever had to do more than three coats on any part of a model and the third coat probably wasn't even necessary either it's just because I wanted to yeah I wonder if they asked that question meaning more Mm. Layers? Like, yeah. Like different colors and stuff like that? Layering is a huge difference other than, uh, it's a huge, no, what's, the, what's the word I'm thinking of? It's it's not the same as coats. Right. Uh, layers is how many paints you put on a model. Mm -hmm. Coats is how many times you will put a layer on a model. Right. Um, so yeah, I don't think I've done more than three either on a, on a model. Uh, or coats, but layer-wise, I mean, that's how you get definition in models, and that's how you end up getting, uh, you know, the looks that you want in a model. So obviously, like, this model here is going to take f one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe ten different la uh, layers but not more than three coats of each layer. Crazy. <sighs> Sam, they're asking, do any of your children paint miniatures? Uh, no, not at the moment. But they, they've, they've all kind of showed a brief interest in it and then um, gone away. Fortnite. Yes. <laughs> it went away in a fortnight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. Um, well, thanks for asking the question to me. Uh, I know. Oh, I, yeah. Your sons actually do, right? Yes. Uh, well, the oldest, he got sucked into fortnight. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, he's he is still interested. But my youngest, Colin, um, my six-year-old, mm -hmm. is immensely interested in painting minis. Um, and he actually has a decent talent for it as you know as young as he is he's actually really um enthralled in doing it i should say like he he woke me up one morning uh painting the minis in uh russian bash 
Oh, really? Yeah. He he was he had all the paints out and everything. He got the water out. He got the the brushes out. He got the paper towels out, and he start he was starting to do the base coats on the models, so he could paint them. That's cool. Mhm. Mm it was it was fun to wake up to him, like you know, doing that because he had asked me if he could paint, and I was like, sure, you know, we'll you know when I get up we'll paint. I didn't realize that he was going to run out of the room and I had already set everything up so he could paint. That's cool. So I will have less in my queue because I'll just start giving it to him. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you can't get up from this table until you finish these minis. Oh, no. <laughs> that ain't right. Okay. What was the starter kit you mentioned earlier for beginners? Um, it is. Let me give you the right name. You got a null oil over there somewhere? Uh, I don't think I brought it, but I have Agrax. Actually, I think Agrax will work. Agrax is brown. Uh, it's okay. That's what I want for this armor. All right. So I don't know if this if this shows up on camera or not. Uh, let's do it like that. There you go. So it's this war game set right here. Um, it doesn't come with these models, but it gives you kind of a step-by-step -step guide. Uh, this is a really decent starter set. Um, and then, like I said, uh, what are their names? Uh, Warhammer. I can't find their starter set. I know they have one because I just saw it at a, a FLGS the other day. Um, Reaper also has one. Doo -doo. Uh, and theirs comes with a few minis to paint. Um, but obviously, uh, so Warhammer also has one, Games Workshop. Um, but uh, price point going in. What do you think? Army Painter's the best one. That works out, yeah? I like it. There you go, I yeah. guess. Now you're going to hit them and highlight them, right? Yeah. Each one of them? Of course. Of course. Who do you think I am? Do you ever use sand or twigs in your minis to add a realistic environment? Yeah. Well, yes. Um, I do, actually. Uh, I um, so some companies actually make money off selling stuff like that. Obviously, you can literally just go outside and pick some of that stuff up, um, like sand from the beach or whatever, and right. um, the twigs and whatnot, uh, grass. But I don't recommend grass because it dies, unless you really want that like death look going on for your mini. But yeah, I like doing. Um, not sculpted bases. Uh, what's th what's the word I'm thinking of? Basing. Um, to different <laughs> minis. I could go grab one of the ones from Scythe and bring it in here. Do you always do finishing like grass and stone at the bottom of your minis? <coughs> Not <laughs> always. For me, it depends on the game. Um, like, say, Starship Samurai. I'm currently painting that right now. Uh, I'm, I wouldn't do anything with those bases other than paint them a single color. Um, they're all most likely going to be, actually, I think about it, they're all going to be black, and I'm going to put some white specks on there to make it look like stars. Yep. Um, but otherwise, no, I wouldn't touch those bases. My Raptor minis, <laughs> those are based, uh, and that's probably a little bit overboard for those because of the size. Yeah. Um, but I did end up basing those. Um, but say Zombicide, didn't base them, but I did paint them to look like cobblestone. Hmm. Not doing that again. 
not gonna do it. Wouldn't be prudent. Mm. This juncture. <laughs> Read my lips. I'm not gonna do the basin. <laughs> I miss good SNL. Do, do, do. I just realized I messed up and I missed some things. Now my whole plan is ruined. Ruined, I tell you. So, if anybody's wondering, I'm still using cold steel and I probably should have done this when I did all the helms. Um, before, but I wasn't Is the thinking. The great Vernon Piper admitting to a mistake. Yeah, because now I gotta go back and just do the same color, and that's not what you want to do at all during right. a conveyor belt style. Okay, I'm done with his face. What do you think? Where's his eyebrows? <laughs> <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me lie on camera, Sam. <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> now for some people I mean that is that's you know that's what they got that's what they're gonna do yeah yeah we're just trying to hit the face here and what then what movies are you guys excited about <sighs> they're coming out Infinity War 2 up <laughs> <laughs> You and, you and everybody else in the world. Yeah, well, I mean, is there any other movies coming out that are worth it other than that one? I don't know. I need know. to know what happens, man. I need to know what happens. Um, well, we kind of already know that... Uh, Captain Marvel, I guess, would be the next one I'm excited for. Uh, there's not too many that are coming out that I'm too excited for, uh, just because I haven't kept up with what's coming out other than Infinity War and Captain Marvel. <laughs> um, those two are the only ones really on my radar. Um, there's a few horror movies that I, I'm, I'm looking forward to. There's one with Simon Pegg coming out pretty soon. Um, Simon Pegg and the guy from Underworld. I can't remember his name. He's married to Kate Beckinsale, if anybody wants to look that guy up. That's Do my work for me. Yeah, that's all. I, um, that movie. You got a thinner. Can, can I borrow one of your thinner brushes? How thin detail you want? Work, detail work. No, not the, not the single. This isn't single. This okay. is a thin one. Probably good. Uh, no, that's too much. Yeah. Actually, go over that one probably. Yeah, that'll work. That's got a good point. Oh, that's got a good point. All right. So did the ends of my sword. No, they don't. You're Lannisters. You don't even know how to sharpen a sword. Yes, we don't, because we have people to do it for us. <laughs> <laughs> Who sharpens their you own sword like a peasant? <laughs> you say that like it's a bad thing. Sam, yeah, they're asking, do you know any, anything about an upcoming expansion for uh, Shakespeare? Yes. Matter of fact, just came out of Nova, uh, Nova. I can't remember the rest of it. Uh, they just announced that they're doing a Night Glade or something like that. Night. Night Gaunt. Night Gaunt. Uh, no, that's <laughs> uh, leading me wrong, man. Uh, Isn't that see. from Skyrim? Uh, no, nah, I have no idea. Night Gaunt. I forget where Night Gaunt's um, from. Let's see here. If you go to uh, Games Workshops. Uh, they just released from uh, Nova Open 2018. They First of all, they, they talked about a new game called Speed Freaks, which I think is just a, a, a game, that, a racing game that they're using to uh, launch their new um, orc war buggies and stuff like that. Um, so there's stuff in there about that, but let me scroll down. They've got some other stuff from uh, a Kill Team Command roster. Um, they are a, a new Imperial Knights Titan. Uh, some more news about the uh, Sisters of Battle. 
the new chapter coming out for this year, uh, the new version of the Sisters of Battle, that is. Uh, some uh, Night Vault, close, but uh -huh. you were wrong. It's called Night Vault. It's actually a season, it's called, they're, they're calling it season two of Warhammer Underworlds. And uh, it's gonna come, it's, the box is gonna come with two new factions. The uh, Shyish Necro, ne Necroquake. Um, Say that five times fast. Yeah, tell me about it. Um, uh, let's see, and uh, and then Stormcast Eternals, Stormcast Eternals, and uh, the Chain Rasps is actually what they're called, led by the Wraith Witch known as the Briar Queen. All right, so um, they actually are coming out with that. The whole set is going to have eight more factions um, that come out with it. So. There's that. That is a lot of factions for that game. Yes, there are. Your painting cues just keep adding up. <laughs> Eventually, someday, I will actually pick that game up when it goes on sale, hopefully. And I buy some of those factions. Yeah, but if they keep releasing factions, it'll never go on sale because people will want to keep buying it. I know. <laughs> Okay, this is not going as well as I would have liked. Mainly because my hand isn't nearly as steady uh, as it should steady be. Steady as it should be, yeah. Uh, steady as she goes. getting some of it in there. I'm going to have to come back with more. I have to come back and touch up with the uh, flesh tone, Cadian flesh tone again, but... It was what I was planning on using on these guys as well. Maybe a few different flesh tones, but I feel like that one is their skin tone. Yeah. Through talking again, I completely missed some stuff that I should have painted on a lot of these what? models. Uh, I gotta go back again. <laughs> Are you able to see me? Right? Oh, okay. Cool. I just wanna make sure. My big nose in the way. Now, in case people were wondering, because obviously it looks like I'm just sitting here going, I've got a passion, some paint, I'm going to put it all over this mini. <laughs> uh, that's what I sound like when I'm painting. Yep. Uh, <laughs> exactly what he sounds like. Yeah. Um, so, the um, raised areas of this um, pauldrons he's got here, I, uh, are gold, so um, the gold will be able to cover the silver. Let's move all you guys back over here because you're not done. I guess I could use my robot voice and people would be happier. Yes, they would. I am not just putting paint on stuff. I am doing it on purpose. <laughs> there is a method to my madness. I'm quite mad. All right. It's not too shabby, but I do need to come back and touch up some of that stuff there. So we'll come back with him in just a minute. Yeah, I missed this whole uh, chin armor on a few of these. I'm like looking at, the, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to read it quick. These, these pauldrons, woo, sheesh, did nothing to them. And then I'm like, wait, what's this big giant red thing in front of his face? Don't. Oh yeah, that's silver too. Yeah, that's the way it goes. I knew that. 
And they don't even look like they've been in battle either with the armor. It's, they definitely look like Lannisters. Like, oh, hey, look, we're just, we had armor pilots this morning. <laughs> we're not going off to battle. It's all about how you look, not, not what you can do in your armor. Oh, wow. I know I paint so well, don't I? Thank you, sure. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> I'm just putting paint on stuff. Yeah. I'm so good at it. How are we doing on time here? Hey, it's just now 2 o'clock. All right. I've only been painting for an hour. Yep. Why does it feel like so much longer? No kidding. I sit here all day. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go home mm. and I'm going to paint. And you're going to paint, yes. I am. We all know this very mm -hmm. Actually, I'm going to go home and play Overwatch for a little bit. And then I'm going to start making something for dinner, probably. I don't know what I'm going to have because I don't have anything in the house. So I would probably just order Uber Eats and then wait until it gets there, get food, sit down and eat. And then paint after I've, I've fed, after I have feasted. I will paint. All right. I wonder how many people in chat think I'm insane. All right. Do 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 do. Hey! I've almost got all the mess ups done. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and touch up the faces of this, these two guys real quick. Yeah, I would totally love to do my faces. Then hit it with a, then hit it with a uh, Reichland flesh shade and then call it quits for the faces because I'm not crazy to do the eyes like you are. But you can see their eyes. No, not here. Not on these guys. You can't. What? <laughs> there, it, it's it's a. Uh, they are uh, outside, and there's a lot of sun. I was so gonna say they're squinting and looking yes, into the sun. Squinting and looking into the sun. Yes. Hmm. Actually, he's pretty good. This guy, however. Nothing on chat, Ken. Well, they're asking, will Martin ever write the next book before <laughs> he passes away? Actually, he called me the other day, and he said he wasn't sure. <laughs> so, you heard it here, folks. I talked to J.R.R. Martin. G.R., right? J? I don't even know. J.R.R. Martin. Yep. I just call him J.R., so... Oh, you're on a, you're not even first name basis, you're a... We're just two initial basis. Yeah. Yeah. He calls me VP, I call him JR. It's a thing we have. How's that? Oh, we look good. I think it looks all right. I would hit up his face, but that's just me. Huh? What? What did you say? I said I would hit up his face with some highlights on his beard. Well, yeah, I'm not done yet. Oh. Just, it's coming along. What's wrong with you, monster? <laughs> Uh. All right, but flesh shade is first. Have you played Villainous yet, Sam? I have not. No. I actually got scared away from Villainous. Yeah, I remember you were telling me about that. I painted the uh, the crown for um, Prince John. Oh yeah. Yeah. I just I wasn't like the rest of the minis in that game. You know, look really cool. Um, but Prince John, he's got his crown, but it's weird. It's all uh, gold, but there's no, I don't even know what the heck to call it. There's no uh, definition in it, so I painted some of the uh, the crystals in it green. Mm -hmm. We lost chat? No, I just, uh, I didn't, I have it popped out and I didn't, I didn't put it, pull it back. Oh, gotcha. Okay. I wouldn't say we lost chat. <laughs> we weren't really looking for it. 
Uh, did you hear about the Rock? No. He is. That's another movie that I'm. I'm curious about. I'm not really looking forward to it, but we will see. Um, the Rock is in talks or is doing a continuation of Big Trouble in Little China. I, s I heard something about that. Um, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm very apprehensive about that I'm, one. Yes, I'm very tepid about uh, how that is going to work. But, as you know, what good old Jack Burton says, yeah, that almost seems like if if uh, if uh, uh, Russell, uh, no, not Russell, Kurt Russell. Yeah, if Kurt Russell isn't in that movie, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's the thing is it's it's gonna be weird seeing a huge jacked up uh, Jack Burton. Yeah. <laughs> I've been working out since the last movie. I learned my lesson. Yeah. You smell what Jack Burton is cooking? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Who? <laughs> Me. <laughs> I'm Jack Burton. See, that's the thing. They should have Kirk Douglas in it, too. And he'd be like, no, I'm Jack Burton. <laughs> Just cross complete genres right there. Yes, you did. Yeah. I'm Jack Burton. You know, Ron Burgundy up in there. I don't know why Hollywood hasn't approached me with my movie ideas. So many good ones. Maybe I'll let you do the eyes. I will do the eyes. You ready? <laughs> No, it's that ink's got to dry. I was going to say, you can the finish, flesh shade. finish these up. Stinking and silver on these guys. Silver and gold. All right. So what's your nickname for uh, Martin, the, the book guy? Oh, JR. <laughs> JR. JR. His name apparently is George. Uh, see, I thought George it was GR. G -R. You said JR. I did say JR. You said JR. You didn't think it was JR. Yeah. It's George R. R. Martin. Yeah, I call him JR. You do not. I do. Well, like the Spanish version of it? Jorge? Yeah, Jorge. Nah, see, the thing is, is not everybody realizes J. G. R. R. Martin, huge Dallas fan. You know, the old TV show. What are you talking about? And instead of calling him Ewing, I call him JR. Because that's our nickname. Uh, that's our in thing. We watch Dallas together. So, there, chat. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Also, I love coming up with stories on the fly. <laughs> Otherwise known as life. <laughs> mm, it's not really life. I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Chat's probably like, "What is, is wrong with him? Know, right? <laughs> what is going on?" <laughs> yeah. We've heard the most different references in this entire show. little known fact that before J.R. Ewing was shot in Dallas they said a Lannister always pays its debts oh my god <laughs> and that's where, that's where G.R.R. Martin got the idea for the mm -hmm. books mm -hmm. sure yeah, but they took it out in post so not a lot of people know that and the reason <laughs> why a lot of people don't know that it's because it's false. <laughs> People are Googling it right now. Who is J.R. Ewing? Right? 
All right, let's see. Best cliffhanger on television in Went history. Went back and highlighted the bottom. I like it. Yeah. Looks good, I think. Oops. Nobody saw that. You know, another fun fact about my references. Oh my goodness, here we go. They are dateable, unlike me. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> He's just harsh. Uh, if you can't laugh at yourself, you can't laugh at anyone else. That's probably true. Alright, the sword is pretty much done there. I need to. What do you think? Scabbard should be metal? Or should the scabbard be uh, d uh, like rough leather? That's what I'm gonna do with these guys, anyways. Let's see. Is Chat enjoying my Dallas reference? No. No. <laughs> wow. I think Kabuki is the only person here. <laughs> Because she is the only one in chat saying anything. Except for Geek. Could you both name some guilty pleasure movies that were flops at the box office box office that you like? Um <clears throat> that were flops at the box office? I don't even know. Um Can you give an example of Remo Williams? <laughs> okay. We're gonna go there. Um, Hudson Hawk. <laughs> I I like Hudson Hawk. So you know, fight me. Oh my goodness! But that's a good movie. And it's got Bruce Willis in it, so you know, it's not a bad movie. Remo Williams is actually pretty good too. I can run on water. Just in case anybody's wondering. <laughs> I just believe it. <laughs> oh, it's been forever since I've seen that movie. Yeah, I I've seen so many movies. I don't know which ones I guess were flopped at the movie theater. Um I just I watch a lot of a lot of movies. A lot of time on my hands. Uh, let's see. I think, was Pacific Rim 2 a flop? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, that wasn't bad. I liked it. Yeah. Um, my son enjoyed it too. Yeah, both of mine... Well, my young uh, Colin was—he's a huge kaiju fan. Yeah. So he really liked it. Um, but my takeaway on that movie was it was a lot better than the original script idea, which was going to just pit two corporations or multiple corporations in the world against each other. Mm -hmm. So basically, um, Gundam the movie. Yeah. So I did like how they kind of did that twist at the end there. In case anybody hasn't seen it, there's no twist at the end. <laughs> they were just seeing dead people. <laughs> but the destruction in that movie just kind of... That's the one thing I didn't like about it was it was kind of glossed over. Like, there was like, oh, all these people died, but we gotta fight some monsters. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's what a lot of movies with that kind of yeah thing do mentality, though. yeah, just kind of gloss over the fact that like their entire base was decimated and everyone yeah. died, but the yep. main heroes. That's the one thing. So I've I've been watching a lot of movies with Vernon and Colin, mm -hmm. um, and I forget Vernon was watching. S oh, he went to go see uh, Hotel Transylvania three. 
And he was asked if it was any good. He goes, it was all right. He goes, it was predictable. <laughs> wow. Because he's seen so many movies with me. He's just like, he gets disenfranchised now when he watches something. And he's like, oh, that's the main character. Nothing bad's going to happen to that guy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I've kind of ruined the boy with movies. Or made him better. <laughs> All right, now let's, oh, should I do face? I feel like I'm playing Hearthstone. Face? Katie and Flesh Tone, look at that. Ow! Right. You wanna pick up? Yeah, we're getting pretty close to end time here. End game. So. Um. Pick. Pick my battles. Yep. Hmm. Is this the one you got here? What's that? Let's knock this out real fast. Let's see if I can't knock it out before we get done. What? Eyeball? Hey, eyeballs. Well, here, you can do this one too. Just don't do it too well, because I ain't going to do the rest of them. Just showing people what you can do. I just can't do it. My hands are not steady enough. Matter of fact, have you done that one yet? I did one. Oh, I was going to say just do John. Great John, but what ebbs? Well, I didn't do him anyways when that one dries. And I messed up one. He's got a wonky eye, so. Oh, let's see here. Yeah, Kabuki is like literally. One of the only ones. Melissa, sad thing is I don't find highlighter to hold up very well. That's true. Um, ah, new Blade Runner. That's true. That one flopped. Did it? Yeah. I didn't realize it flopped. I knew it wasn't great, but I didn't mind that movie. Pete Shirey is here. Hey, Pete. Oh, well, he was. I don't know if he still is. Bye, Pete. You yeah, black. Huh? Black? Yeah. Abandoned black. Ish. Um. Not even on camera, I don't think. I can't. I can't move. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, Pete's still here. Hola, painters. Dudes, where's your wet palette? Oh yeah, I forgot it again. Yeah, he didn't have it. I I barely ever use one. I do have one. It's just at the house. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we are going to be shutting down here. And while Vernon continues to slave away at the eyes, trying to sh highlight his uh, ability to do eyes, because I cannot.
nope. Did you nope. mess up again? Yep. Yep, yep. Okay, well, maybe we shouldn't have tried to highlight this. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> yeah, you're like totally off screen, dude. All right, so let's see if I can't move up here. About where you're, about where this is, is where you need to be. All right, let's see. <laughs> let's see. All right, right here. I don't know. We'll see. Hold on. <laughs> His head, <laughs> your head's in the way. <laughs> it's like back of your ear. <laughs> yeah, doing eyes on camera then are just Yeah, it's difficult. hard to do. I know. All right, so we're going to put. I can't do it on camera. I can't. It's just too far away for me <laughs> to be of any use. Uh, it's hard. To, it's hard to highlight around the eyes. You are very, very true. S please say the most southern thing you can think of in the most southern accent. Well, I do declare. Well, you're trying so hard on those eyes. Bless your heart. Yes, I am. <laughs> well, we're going to get on out of here because <clears throat> it's time to go do some more work, Lord willing, the crick don't rise. I actually hurt my throat. <laughs> 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 Oh, I have some water. All right, so that's that, that's mm. that. And oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tell Vernon he needs to scrub behind the ear a little better, Pete says. All righty. <coughs> okay, we're going to get it on out of here. Um, let's do, um, uh, let's do lightning round just for a couple minutes though. I'm, I'm, I'm down. Lightning round. Okay. Y'all, y'all need to ask a, a, an ultimatum, ultimatum type question where it's one or the other, um, you know, this or that, and then we have to answer both. And we will we will uh, do our best to, to uh, do that. No Sam Tom or Z questions. Yeah yeah yeah. Uh, chicken or beef? Beef. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty much there too, especially in like steak form. If it's like shredded, I I can do without, or not shredded, but like ground beef, I can do without. Oh, that, like there's some magical animal. <laughs> <laughs> Gerbil or a hamster? Apparently, Kabuki is the only one that is... Uh... Oh, wait. Here we go. Wolf or bear? Wolf. What? Wolf. What? Wolf. There you go. Thank you. Wolf. Wolf. Yes, not wolf. Wolf is the sound that the wolf makes. Wolf. No, they say... Ow! <laughs> uh, let's see here. Ice or fire? Oh, fire. Get it? Fire. Yeah. Get it? I do. Was it Pete? No, it wasn't. It was uh, Melissa Coates. Well, which one is it? Ice or fire? Fire. Okay. Um, I'm definitely ice. Ice, baby. Um, no, I'm sorry. Books or movies? Movies. Yeah, me too. Although I do like reading books. It's just that... Time constraints. Yeah. I can do other things while I'm watching a movie. The books are kind of like the, um, the Cliff's Notes. Yes. And I like that. Uh, Chicago hot dog or New York slice of pizza? Chicago hot dog. There is no such thing as New York pizza because Chicago's pizza is the best pizza. Oh, shots have been fired on this. Okay, resin or metal minis? Resin. resin. Period. End of discussion. Uh, pizza or burgers? Burgers. Yeah. More customization for me, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tuna or salmon? Tuna. Whoa. Salmon. Come on. Salmon's light years better than Yeah, tuna. it is. Uh, soda or juice? Soda. <laughs> Depends on the kind of juice. Um, I like apple juice a lot, but it, most apple juices have just as much sugar as a soda in it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Cliff's Notes or Monarch Notes? 
I don't know the difference. I think they're both the same. Like monarch Just from <laughs> Venture Brothers. <laughs> that monarch? Uh, uh, cliff Notes. <laughs> Ooh. Dude, you need to take some of this and apply it to the affected area. Uh oh. Kabuki says Vernon picks burgers because he only knows Chicago pizza. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. Star Wars or Lord of the Rings? Star Wars. Oh, man, that's such a hard choice for me because I can definitely get in the mood where I want to watch Lord of the Rings over everything else. But um, those two are pretty much even keel for me, Pete. <laughs> Uh, Mighty Mouse or Danger Mouse? Mighty Here Mouse. Here I come to save the day! Yes. Yeah, Mighty Mouse, definitely. Mighty Mouse. Wonderful Millhouse Mana Storm! <laughs> I've played a lot of parts though. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, that's about it. I think we'll. Uh, the Thing or the Alien? That'll be the last one. Alien. Yeah, me too. Finished him. Yeah, Alien is is uh, much better. Done. Lightning round. Okay, you can barely tell <laughs> that his eyes have been done because it looked like he put a whole bunch of black mascara on this morning. Yes, he did. That's exactly what this looks like. So I stand validated. Yeah, you can, I can't do <laughs> eyes quickly. All right, so we're going to get out and out of here. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope it's been relaxing or what have you. Um, uh, I'm, so we're, we're just going to go ahead and take off Walt Pay Walter Payton or Mike Ditka. Payton. He was definitely the nicer guy, right? Yeah. Um, but uh, so, yeah, we'll go with Walter Payton. All right, so we'll see you guys, gals, on the flip side. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Yep. I'm Sam Healy. Vernon Piper. We'll see you guys later on. Take care. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.